Now, last week was a very bad week for Donald Trump, and this week, off to a pretty rough start as well. A little context first history. Back in 2012, Donald Trump posted this graphic on Twitter with the commentary, half of Americans don't pay taxes despite crippling government debt. The suggestion, of course, is there are a lot of freeloaders out there. It turns out Donald Trump may well be one of them. The New York Times obtained copies of one year of Trump's state tax filings, and they show he claimed nearly $1 billion in losses that year, 1995. And because of that, tax experts told the Times he could have avoided paying any federal income taxes for nearly two decades. Now, his campaign is threatening to sue the newspaper, but his surrogates tell you this is exactly why you should vote for Trump. Um, there's no one who's shown more genius in, in their way to maneuver around the tax code and to rightfully use the laws to do that. The man's a genius. He knows how to operate the tax code for the benefit of the people he's serving. The man's a genius. Um, there's that old metaphor making chicken salad out of. Um, but, what, what, <laughs> but, but what are they going to say, I guess? The Trump campaign, any indication he'll decide, okay, Here's the rest of my taxes. Put these in context. They don't deny the authenticity of the forms. They just say the New York Times obtained them illegally. Maybe we're going to sue you. Uh, the Hillary Clinton campaign, we're told, has a brand new ad on this. We're going to try to turn it around and bring it to you. Uh, where's this one headed? Uh, he is not going to release his tax returns. I am willing to, uh, <laughs> to predict that. <laughs> but look, I mean, what's, what's the upside for him releasing his tax returns? Is he going to win a single voter over, a single undecided voter over? Um, and I think, though, that the bigger question for him as people begin to process this is not even so much that he used the breaks that are available in the law, but that they were born of a gigantic business failure in the middle of the 1990s. The economy was booming. And somehow he managed to uh, have that chicken salad moment with this business. <laughs> his casinos were losing money. His airline was a failure. He had some, the Palace Hotel and some other real estate investments that went bad. And this happens. It happens. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's in a big business. Big business is a lot of money. But to your point, you know, uh, if, if this was just a bad year and you are a smart businessman, he could prove it. He could prove he had very good years by showing us other years, right? Yeah, but he isn't going to do that. And he's also not going to help his surrogates either. I mean, there may be no harder job in American politics than being a surrogate for Donald Trump. And, <laughs> Why are there only three of them? And, <laughs> well, no, and actually, to, to Glenn's point, it is striking what? how few members of Congress or governors what? he has out there working for him and appearing on TV. He literally has about a half dozen surrogates what? from prominent levels of American what? politics. I mean, the party had the, this incredible two classes in 2010 and 2014, huge gains. Those, those people, sitting members of Congress and governors, are invisible in this campaign. It's extraordinary. But, you know, that vacuum has been <laughs> filled amply by uh, Newt Gingrich, Rudy Giuliani, and Chris Christie, who are in some ways uh, iterations of Trump himself. So they don't really bring anything in terms of a force multiplier. It's basically there are four Trumps out there saying exactly the same thing. And by the way, they are saying exactly what Trump says about himself, that he's a genius. He's a, they say he's a genius, but it's very frustrating, not just to us. News organizations, we ask for more information. We ask for clarity. We ask for context. Explain the loss. Explain what loopholes or what deductions legally. There's no indication Donald Trump did anything illegal here. Uh, but it's also frustrating for Republicans. There are a lot of candidates out there for Congress and for Senate and for governor, and they get asked about this stuff. And when you talk to their campaigns, they say when they reach out to the Trump campaign, they get the same talking points, that yeah. he took advantage, he didn't do anything wrong, took advantage of loopholes available to him, and if he paid very little or nothing, that makes him smart. Right, and guess what? Uh, most Americans don't want to pay uh, taxes anyway or, or want to pay, pay as few taxes as possible, so that's what Donald Trump uh, was doing. The problem is they're going to be hearing about this in, in television ads. I mean, right. the Priorities USA already cut an ad that they're playing uh, in, in, uh, in some of these battleground states. It's featuring a woman uh, in Ohio where she's talking about uh, Donald Trump. Trump is playing by different rules. She had to pay taxes. Uh, he's not supporting veterans. He's not supporting schools. So it's going to be really, really tough for them uh, to get out of uh, to get out of this. And it just, you know, Hillary Clinton brought this up in that debate. This is going to continue to dog him. I think you're right. He's not going to release the taxes, but you get more questions about who he would be as president. Also, would he close these loopholes, right, that allowed him to take advantage of, of this, this large tax write-off in the early 90s? Apparently, no, if you look at his tax plan.